are here to introduce uh, for the very first time dito sa Celebrity Talk, Miss Patricia Javier. Hi, to Patricia. Happy Mother's Day happy to you. Happy Mother's Day and happy birthday together with the handsome husband, Dr. Walter. Robert Walter, and the handsome uh, sons, of course, we have here. Robert the Fourth and RJ, RJ there. RJ, how are you? Happy birthday, Tita, and Thank we you. are so blessed to be here. Yes, happy birthday, Tita. And Robert. In Tagalog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tagalog, Robert. <laughs> In Tagalog, Robert. Ano kaya mo ng Tagalog? I don't know. Happy birthday. <laughs> Ma maligayang kaarawan. Maligayang kaarawan. Kaarawan. Ayon, di ba? Welcome back to the Philippines. Of course, like I said, the very first time na complete on family. Patricia, we missed you a lot. For 10 years, you haven't been here. And now, I heard you have good news for all Ay, your fans. She hasn't changed. Oh, ganda, ganda pa rin. Uh, how Salamat is it? Po. 10 years, and then you're back finally. And I know that uh, you have a news that you'll be staying here, huh? Yes, so I'm happy po. Kasi talagang sinuportahan po ako ng oh. asawa ko na makabalik po ako ulit dito. But in all fairness naman to Patricia, she gave up her career for 10 years to be with her husband yeah. and raise the family in the U.S. And now, she naman ang nakakonvince sa kanyang husband to stay here in the Philippines to stay for good. Yeah, and uh, Robert, uh, I know that the, the very first time we met here, I know that you're a chiropractor back in uh, San Diego, isn't it? And uh, I know that you've decided to come over here with the kids and Patricia. So what made you decide? to finally accompany her and uh, of course you love the Philippines. I do, I love the Philippines, but you know, Patricia gave up so much coming to America 10 years ago. Yes. Um, we had two beautiful kids and I sold my business in America and we felt like, you know, this is a great opportunity to come to the Philippines, allow the kids to experience the culture, uh, allow them to play with their cousins and allow her to do what she does best, which is entertain. But, but it was not hard, uh, uh, it was, was it not a hard decision on your part, you know, to. Uh, to be convinced to uh, migrate back to the U uh, to the Philippines. Yes, it was a very hard decision. I mean, it's something that we've been talking about for a couple years, mm -hmm. you know. And I've been here, you know, six times. You know, we've been coming here since 2003, so I knew what to expect to some degree. Yeah, yeah. so far so good. Yes, yeah, so good. Because lahat ng mga uh, pinaranas ko sa kanya yung mga pang probinsya ng ano. Ah, talaga, <laughs> nakaka-experience na siya. Experience niya yung tipong kasi yung bahay namin sa Antipolo, walang gripo, oh. di ba? <laughs> Pero Patricia, let me ask this. How how uh, did motherhood uh, uh, yung pagiging mother mo change your outlook and yung takbo ng karir mo? I know you've sacrificed your career and married this very handsome guy. So all in all, how, you know, um, all I can say, my kids are my, like, the best achievement na natanggap ko po. And um, uh, they keep me grounded. They keep me more, um, more real. Na talagang, iba pala talaga pag may anak na, parang you always uh, think about them first. Bago yung sarili mo. Pero ang nakakatuwa dyan, uh -huh. I mean, you know, look at uh, Patricia. Ibig lang sabihin, um, magaling mag-alaga si uh, Robert. Kasi uh -huh. otherwise, look at her. I mean, sabi ko nga kanina, hindi pa talaga nag hindi nagbabago. She's still so pretty. Napaka-sexy pa rin, you know. Oh, Ten years you ago, po. yun pa rin ang itsura Ay, mo. Ay, gano'n po ba? Sa lahat 